Okay, so uh, I I'm, I thought this was assumed when it came with one saved always saved, but I guess not. Once saved always saved does not mean that once you're saved, you can just do whatever you want. If a byproduct of your salvation is Christ-like attitude, a Christ-like heart, the Holy Spirit is in you and you're doing what God calls you to do, you're not going to do whatever you want. That's just a part of it. So no, once saved always saved is not a lie from the pit of hell. The opposite is a lie from the pit of hell. The idea that you cannot be uh, secure in your salvation is a straight up lie. There's nothing in the Bible that teaches that. Jesus taught the exact opposite, that eternal life is what Jesus offers through grace, through faith. The idea that we are called to a holiness lifestyle, which you said in your comment, it's totally true. That doesn't mean we're not going to screw up. doesn't mean we're going to be perfect. It means that if you are truly saved, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you cannot just fall away from that. It's not that simple. You can't leave that. If you are truly a believer in Christ, you are not going to become an atheist. You're not going to go to a different religion. You're not going to uh, do things that go against God's perfect salvation, the idea that you are now saved. Now, can you sin? Yes, but that's why the gravity of our sin is so uh, incredibly large because we are saved and we've made a huge mistake. And that's exactly why when you are saved you change. A lot of people notice this in people who have who have changed their lives. They go from being non-Christian to Christian. They're like, why are you so different? It's because their lives have changed. It's because their actions have changed. Because they're showing that they are no longer of the world. Now remember, we are not called to be perfect people. We're called to be available. We're called to be Christ-like. And it's very important to note that if you are Christ-like, if you are a Christian, a believer in Jesus Christ, that does not equal perfection. That equals your absolute best that you can be as Christ was, or is, rather. You try the absolute hardest you can to be like Christ. Not a perfect man or a perfect woman, but as hard as you can to be Christ-like. So many people say, well, does this mean that I can just do whatever I want? Does that mean that I can do this or that? No, no, because if you are a believer in Christ, you're not going to do whatever you want. That is not how perfection. That's not how Christ did things. Jesus Christ didn't do whatever he wanted. He was a, a he was God in human form. He did what was bound by God's law. He did what God would do. We also have to be a reflection of what God would do. So that means not doing sinful things. And if you do sinful things, it just shows you're a sinner and that you're not perfect, which God already knows.